once your child does few of these active play routines, it's time that he moves, he or she moves on to the quiet play time. Now after active play, always make your child move on to more quiet play activities which provide more touch and deep pressure input. You can also work on your child's academic goals and pre-writing skills at this time. You can do art and craft activities, you can have messy play, make your child play in sand, you can also do hiding, you know, small objects or toys in shaving foam, or even you can do activities such as finger painting, stamp printing, etc. There is also another activity which is making sensory bins which has many different textures and items such as pulses, rice, pasta. You can hide your child's favorite toys in these bins and make them look for it. Now, during the quiet playtime, it is good if you can, your child enjoys music and you put some soft soothing music in the background because this helps the child develop attention skills when he's actually sitting and doing an activity. Once your child has the quiet playtime and has had his lunch break, the afternoons can be kept for a nap time or a quiet time for your child. Now, quiet time or nap time can be done in the sensory corner. Now, what is a sensory corner? It is a hideout or a comfortable place that you can create for your child in a corner of one of the rooms in your house. Make the child's favorite toys, books, favorite cushions, soft blankets, soft music and nice lighting available for your child in this space so that whenever your child feels stressed or overwhelmed or tired or just needs a break from anyone, he can always rush to this sensory corner. Now, the quiet time in the sensory corner should be followed by the evening active play time for your child. You can do a few of the activities which have been suggested earlier in the morning active play routine. Now, the evening active play time should be followed by sit down time with the family when you do games such as board games, puzzles, etc and which should then be followed by your child's usual bath time and dinner time routines. Once your child is done with the evening routine, start preparing your child for the end of the day and bedtime. You can use the visual schedule so that the child is ready and he knows that he has to be in bed to signify the end of his day and relax. You can try some of these above suggestions form a good daily routine for your child when he is at home. If you have any doubts, please do contact us at Prayatna. We are here to help you. Doing, we are doing online sessions so that we can guide you from very good functional activity routines for your children while they are at home for the whole day. Thank you.